And here it is. One of the ultimate loadouts, in my opinion. Probably one of the best in the entire game. For not only it's surprising, but it's terribly effective. Engineer. Running the default shotgun. Sexy skin optional, but preferred. And the dreaded, the most hated, Mini Sentry. Now, yes, I know, some of you are already freaking out. Everybody hates the Mini Sentry. For it is a terrible, terrible weapon to use. Almost a shitty tactic. Thus the title of this video, Playing Dirty. But the Mini Sentry is not the star of today's video. Oh no, not at all. As this heavy right here will soon realize, the Mini Sentry only plays a secondary role. The Mini Sentry is bait. People will always go for the Mini Sentry, but they'll always underestimate the engineer behind it. Heavy down. Granted, I may not be playing against the best players in the whole world, but... No one can deny the impact that the Engineer has on the enemy team when played properly. This is just another example, an alternative style, it's guerrilla warfare of sorts. Ah, the Gunslinger not only gives you an extra 25 health, not only gives you the dreaded mini sentry, it also crits on every third hit. That means that at least 33% of your hits will be crits. What's not to the love? There obviously is something very panic inducing about a mini sentry. People will focus their entire attention on it and completely ignore the engineer that's closing in on them fast. Kinda like that pyro. And, well, a lot like that heavy right there. One, two. That's all it takes. Yeah, that's all it takes when you're wielding the shotgun. Most underestimated weapon in the game once again. I use that term a lot, don't I? Well, it's true. These videos are all about that. How to surprise your enemy. Trying to share my best knowledge and, well, these are some of the best loadouts I've got. Best techniques. Shotgun at point blank range does between 80 to 90 damage. That drops off to 10 to 30 at medium range. Counting a maximum of 18 pellets on critical hits, doing a whopping 162 damage. That's more than a headshot from a sniper rifle, more than enough to take down most light classes. Two hits can take down the full health heavy. Now that is a force to be reckoned with. So how exactly am I supposed to use this loadout, you say? Well, let me tell you. You want to use the mini sentry as bait. It won't be the main damage dealer here. Your shotgun will do all the work. You see, you want to put the mini sentry down somewhere obvious. But not too obvious. Just somewhere that's going to attract the enemy's attention. Make sure he goes running straight for it. The mini sentry will deal out a little bit of damage in the meantime, and you'll finish him off with a shotgun. It's that simple. They all go running straight for the mini sentry. They'll never turn around to shoot you first. And after you've murdered the poor bastard, well, pick up his ammo pack and you'll have enough to rebuild the mini sentry he might have destroyed. It's like the circle of life, right here in Team Fortress 2. Then you can Hakuna Matata your way over to another strategically chosen point, and the whole cycle restarts. Of course, you'll be playing as the combat Angie. Angies of this type don't bother themselves with trivial matters like dispensers and teleporters. No, you want to concentrate on the mini sentry, you want to concentrate on that firepower you've got between your hands. Look at yourself. Now the NG is an absolute beast. Killing machine. Taking out snipers, outgunning heavies, terrorizing pyros, even the spies respect him now. You're pretty much invincible. Nothing could take you out. Well, except random crits, that is, of course. It only serves to make you angry or you run out of spawn, you spot the demo, you waste five pellets on him, you turn around, you jump over the rocket, you meat shot the soldier, victory. And then you get body shot. Yeah, fucking snipers. But that's all part of karma, that's what you get for playing so dirty. Guerrilla warfare, well it comes at a cost. Cost of comfort, and the cost of karma induced crits. Anyway, that just about wraps up the video. Of course, we won. How couldn't we, with the engineer we got? Thanks a lot for watching, people. Hope this was interesting and that you'll try out the loadout for yourself. And as always, like if you did, and please subscribe. I'll see you all real soon in the next one. Speaker, signing off.